Adamant's influence continues, your worship. I submit Lord Livius Erimond of Virantium, who remains loyal to Corypheus. We found him alive, offering extreme resistance, likely because the Order will ask for his head. In more colorful terms. To say nothing of justice you might personally require for what was suffered in the Fade. Many places felt the pain of Adamant. You will answer for a great deal. I recognize none of this proceeding. You have no authority to judge me. On the contrary, many officials have communicated that they will defer to the Inquisitor on this matter. Because they fear, not just Corypheus, but Taventa, rightful ruler of every piece of ground you've trod in your pathetic life. I serve the living God. Bring down your blades and free me from the physical. Glory awaits me. Although willing, there is a group you have wronged more than any. Lord Livius Eremond of Verantium. The Wardens can have you. Let them take your head if they want it. Their petty justice or yours, it matters not. Truth lies in the next world. So, the line of King Callanhan the Great has finally ended. I didn't know Alistair that well, but he was a friend of a friend. One of the Wardens who ended the Fifth Blight. A big hero to a lot of people. He wasn't the first good man to fall to Corypheus. He won't be the last. This story's no good for heroes. You must be glad that Hawk made it back in one piece. Yep. Closest thing I've ever seen to a miracle there. <sighs> Hawk asked me to tell everyone back in Kirkwall where she's going. I'll have to let Merrill know. I'd better write some letters. Excuse me. I cannot believe the Grey Wardens could even conceive of such a plan. To seek out these old gods deliberately in some bizarre attempt to preempt the Blight. I know. I'm glad we could end this madness before it started. Thank you. I've been on my own for so long. It's difficult to get used to having the support of others. Those fools and duty. Responsibility is not expertise. Action is not inherently superior to inaction. Forgive me. The entire idea is... unnerving. <laughs> you have remarkably little here on early to winter history. All these gifts to the Inquisition, and the best they can do is the Malefica Imperio, trite propaganda. But if you want 20 volumes on whether Divine Galatea took a shit on Sunday, this is evidently the place to find it. And that's the Dorian I know, critiquing every book in my library. I wouldn't have to if you could find some rebellious heretic archivist to join the cause. Are there rebellious archivists? Other than you, that is. If Corypheus ever starts burning masterworks of literature, I'm sure a few will pop up. Did I see something by Genitivi here? I could have sworn. What is this about, Dorian? When everyone returned, they told us about your tumble into the Abyssal Rift. You went into the Fade. Physically went in. Are you... all right?
Alistair is gone. The Fade is an ordeal under normal circumstances. To be the only real thing there, beyond description. That you made it out at all is a miracle. You do realize this feat hasn't been performed in over a thousand years. Corypheus and his contemporaries entered the Fade and began the Blights. In comparison. It would have been easier if you'd been with me. Without question. But I'm rather glad I wasn't. No sense of adventure? That's surprising. I've not your talent for survival. And not everyone is as discerning as I. If you can walk in the Fade, others will try to follow. Who knows what secrets Corypheus has revealed? Not all of them will be as lucky as you. What they could unleash. My advice? Keep this quiet. Let them speculate. Too many will see this as a challenge. That's a good idea. There are enough idiots in the world who think if they just use enough blood magic, their problems will vanish. It's exactly the sort of thing I want to stop back home. This... this I don't need. What I do need is a copy of the Liberalum. I'll wager I can find Corypheus' real name. If I can prove he was a grasping ankle biter with no family to speak of, the luster would come right off. Wish me luck. The Grey Warden, Alistair. They tell me he died in the fate. He saved us. Throwing himself at the demon to buy time. A hero's death. That is something. Pray, Inquisitor, when all this is done, you do not regret the choices you made. You may find some things are harder to bear than others. I set aside an entire shelf for Grey Warden lore, and so far it's not even half full. Those Wardens and their secrets. Inquisitor. I... I have been thinking. You remember everything now, yes? The explosion at Haven, the Fade, escaping the breach. In your report, you said Justinia was with you. But only you emerged in the end. Why? Why were you the only survivor? She knew it was either her or me. And she wanted me to live. Of course. Of course she did. That's just like her. Her message to me. I failed you too. I'm not sure I understand what that means. Did you say anything else? Anything at all? Please, if you remember. I'm sorry, Liliana. That was it. There are no answers in the fate. Only illusions. A warped mirror. Justinia has never failed me. I was her left hand. Now she's dead. I failed her.
Inquisitor, if you're looking for the Commander, he's gone to speak with Seeker Pentagast. Inquisitor. Your worship. Were you there? Did you see what they did? Find space. Really? It will need free quite a lot. Writing does not come naturally to me, as I'm certain you can imagine. Trying to outdo Varric's next literary masterpiece? <laughs> I haven't his talent for blather. As if written by a dim-witted child. Historians will one day ask what happened at Adamant Fortress, in the Fade. I wasn't there, but others were. Their accounts must be recorded. That's an excellent idea, Cassandra. I certainly thought so, until I started writing. I still don't know what to say about the Spirit of the Divine. The Chantry teaches us that the souls of the dead pass through the Fade, so it could have been her, yet even so. Do you really think it might have been her? A ghost? A ghost. A remnant of her hopes and memories. Her lingering will to do good. Those things are all possible. Nobody knows for certain what happens after we die. A spirit could have assumed her form, but why? It helped you, as Justinia herself would have. Perhaps it doesn't matter what she really was, then. It matters to me, to what I must write. I wish I'd seen her, seen it. I feel so inadequate trying to interpret. I don't know the truth any more than you do. Sadly, unanswered questions make for poor reading. When they told me you were physically in the Fade, I was terrified for you. The last time such a thing happened, we created Darkspawn. We created Corypheus. The world needs to know the truth this time. No more legends lost to the ages. 